This was supposed to be a race, but the show must go on. Um, we're still going to have fun. Um, hopefully you guys will enjoy. So I'm going to start now in 3, 2, 1, and go. Okay. So this is super hot. If you've never seen... Hold on. Do I get first man skip? I got it. Wow. Excellent. Alright, so that first man is the hardest enemy to kill in the entire game, I swear to god. Okay, so super hot. If you've never played or seen super hot at all, um, basically the whole gimmick of it is time only moves when you move. So, pretty much lends itself pretty decently to speedrunning. I mean, you, the goal is to just not stop at all. Um, it also means there's a pretty high skill scene, and obviously. Oh, that was pretty close to death. Did the jump out of the window swag and um, did it a bit early, but it died. No big deal. Um, yeah, so the, the goal of every level is to just kill every red man, and that's it, pretty much. Um, there, there aren't a lot of like glitches or anything, it's just things, I guess. Um, such as right now, after this level, hopefully. If I remember to press escape at the right time, which should be easy enough, okay. So after you kill that last guy, if you escape there, you can uh, skip a cutscene and just spam enter. There's a lot of spamming, by the way, in this game. Oh damn, I shouldn't have went <laughs> into that chat. Always, always skip dialogue. Um, but it's fine, we got the we got the main skip anyway. There's like a bit of a short kind of cutscene at the end of that level. So, jump. And pretty much, you, you want to try your best to not slow down, obviously, because you, you want time to be moving as fast as the game will allow it. But I mean, obviously it's usually pretty insane to just like snipe people from across the level while they're like moving, trying to pass time as quick as possible. Um, so there's a slight bit of randomness in this game as well. So the where the enemies spawn here, there's like these two doors are the main spawn points. Oh, nice, okay. Are the two main spawn points. And it's kind of... It's, it's, it's pretty much random where certain enemies will spawn. Sometimes it depends on where you stand. Sometimes you'll get a guy in one door and sometimes you'll get a guy in another door. And it's usually not too big of a deal, but it can catch you off guards sometimes. Uh, nice, okay. <laughs> Melee combat in this game is a, a bit janky. There's like a sweet spot you can hit enemies in. And oh, nice. Okay, gentlemen, please, gentlemen, please, come on, I asked nicely. There's a lot of, um, I w yeah, I'm running this game in English, actually. Usually you run this game in Japanese because, um, you know, as is tradition, Japanese is usually fast in speedruns with a lot of text. But um, I'm just running it in English because, I mean, I would imagine most people don't understand Japanese watching this, so. It saves, like, it's, it's not a massive save, it saves, like, maybe... 15-ish seconds, something like that. Um, so break is one of the kind of annoying levels. Again, there's that randomness factor where enemies can just kind of spawn wherever they feel like, and nice. They also have random weapons. Okay, I got shot in the back, lovely. They also have random weapons. We pretty much don't want to see any shotguns because shotguns are really hard to dodge just due to the spread. You know, if somebody's shooting one bullet at you, nice, I just jumped directly into that bullet. If somebody's shooting one bullet at you, it's pretty easy to dodge, but if they're shooting like six and they're all going in different directions, it's obviously pretty, uh, pretty not fun. Okay, that should be good now. Back pistol, please, oh my god. Okay, now we're good. <laughs> yeah, that level is pretty problematic usually. Uh, what level is this now? Oh yes, this is the, uh, the half-life level. Do a bit of b-hops. There we go. And if we killed everybody, nice, so we can get another skip here. Skip another cutscene. Spam, spam, spam. Spam some more. And, um, so here there's a kind of, um, would you call it a mechanic? I don't know. Basically you have to like fake type in this game. Um, like that, you just like mash random keys and then press enter. You can actually, um, the game accepts mouse movement as key presses, so you can just like move your mouse in like a circular motion. And it's the same as typing, pretty good. It's also pretty fast. So again, when we kill everybody in this level, another, there's like another kind of story thing. The story in this game is really weird. It's basically some like meta story that I don't really understand all too well, but it's, it's pretty impressive. 
Okay, escape and then mash some more. There's a lot of mash in this game. Mash a bit more. There we go, okay. So there's these kind of like um in between bits where the game is kind of I don't know, it's <laughs> it's weird meta story that I don't really know how to explain all that well. Maybe look up a few uh, Wikipedia articles. Oh wait, I should be wa I should be reading. I'm supposed to walk right now. Basically, we're just following the uh, game's instructions. Okay. I'll, I'm also playing in Japanese because sometimes I forget what you're supposed to do, and um, it gives you instructions on screen, but I can't read Japanese, so I'm like, what the hell do I do here? What am I doing wrong? Okay, so you can s you can quit out at that moment, and yes, okay. So. Okay, yeah, this is hospital. This is, again, another pretty big problem level. It's just kind of, again, has the random spawns, has the random weapons thing. It also has me jumping directly into oncoming fire, which is not really an in intentional thing I'm supposed to do. Once again, well, I should really stop doing that. Alright, we're good. Her, her time's the charm, as they say. Okay, so I'm gonna, okay, I'm gonna try to get a snipe here. Are you dead? Okay, no, I, I, sh <laughs> that was good. I shot and then threw my weapon at the bullet, and my own bullet destroyed my own weapon that I just threw. Okay, this is spooky. Hello. Yes. Um. Yes. That should be everybody. I think. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Uh, what do we have here? <laughs> I should. Oh yeah, this one. I should really remember like what order levels go in, but it's fine. Oh nice, I missed that guy again. This level should be easy, but for some reason enemies move in like really weird kind of patterns, and they dodge bullets just like barely, like all the time on this level. It's pretty good. Okay, he's dead now. Sick. Kill this guy. Kill this guy. Hopefully, don't get shot in the back. Real ammo, and then this guy. Okay, sick. Super. Shoutouts to the uh, super hot guy as well, after every level. Alright, so, hopefully we get this in five shots. Oh no, six shots, that's fine. You can, there's a, you pretty much just wanna like, the, the enemies up there will always miss you until the fifth shot, and then you can, it's actually possible to die. And so five shots is the fastest you can get that in there, but six shots is pretty good, pretty decent. All right, nice. So Goomba stomp that guy at the start and pick up the katana. Yeah, okay. You can like jump on top of enemies in this game and kill them, and it's a pretty fast way to kill dudes if you have no weapon. Like you can you can punch um, enemies three times and they'll die. That's fine, but it's obviously slower than just jumping on them and they're dead straight away. Elevator is a uh, to anyone who's played this game casually, it's it's pretty like uh, a pretty memorable level just because of how difficult it is. There's only like five enemies, but because you're so enclosed, um, you have to come up with like some crazy way to deal with uh, two guys shooting at you at the start and one guy punching you, and yeah, it's pretty good. Basically, you want to just jump around this guy, pick up his weapon, and then turn around and shoot him. Wow, leave me alone. Alright, should get it now. Oh no. I was supposed to shoot him. Not just tap him with my gun. There we go. Sick. And we can get the uh, edgy dialogue as well. Well, we have English on, it's pretty good. This, uh, ah, yes. Gonna have to two hand the mouse here for this insanely hard to achieve tech. Okay. There we go, we did it. Then mash ender for like 10 seconds. Pretty, pretty impressive tech in this game, I have to say. Yeah, we did it. And then we 
on it. Yeah, we can't actually skip this dialogue. So we're just pretty much going to type to this this guy, this game. We're typing to the game right now. Um, so, this, yeah, we're <laughs> just moving the mouse in circles and pressing enter. So this is a great time for donations if you have any. All right, we have a $25 donation from Muwer saying, Super hot, super hot, super hot. Okay, that's the end of that. So, okay. We just, we're just lying. We say we're not going to launch the game. We in instantly, instantly back in the game. He's not going to take too kindly to that, but sure. And whenever. So this is... Okay, another quick Goomba stomp at the start there. From like 10 meters in the air. And this is, yeah, <laughs> it's a bit of a... It's a bit of a mess. I was supposed to actually save the katana. Throw it up here and then pick this up. There we go. Oh, it, nice. The katana's stuck in the uh, banister. Excellent. And damn, the last guy. Nearly. Questionable. Alright. Oh, like his head this time. Okay, that should be good. Oh, I overshot it this time, I think. Is he dead? He's dead. Nice. Thanks for dying. Really helps me out. Okay. Again, another one of those cutscene skips again at the end of this. Pretty much any level. Are you dead? Yeah, you're dead. James Bond, this guy. Ah, there we go. Pretty much at any level that has a weird like um, fade out at the end, we can just skip to. The, we can just press escape and uh, nice. Well, that's a pretty bad death actually. We have to do that whole start bit again. Oh, James Bond again. It's fine. We got to see. <laughs> we got to see that sick kill again. Oh, ammo. Excellent. What I wanted to see. This is going to be a bit ropey now because I have one less bullet than I'd like. Oh no. Um, give me that, please. Thank you. Yeah. That should be it, I think. Alright, sick. So quit out again. And yeah, the. Like, instantly, instantly pissed that we played the game again. You can tell by the it's extremely slow typing. More Half Life again, more B hopping. And if I can B hop, punch ourselves in the back of the head, there we go. So I actually like don't really want to play anymore, so I'm just gonna like Alt F4 if that's okay with everybody. Just have to wait. Okay, now there we go. Hopefully, hopefully I didn't do that too early, or else we're gonna do some more B hops. Okay, looks okay. If the screen is like messed up, I think we should be good. Yeah, we're good. Okay. So that skips a lot of dialogue. For the amount of dialogue that is in this run, there we do skip quite a lot of it. But yeah, this is just more dialogue. If there are if there are any, any more donations, now would be a good time. It's pretty much the last chance. I guess not. The sad thing is, after you Alt F4, you can't use your uh, mouse to input keys again, so... We have the lovely uh, <laughs> sound of mashing, hopefully that's coming through the uh, the mic. For your view and pleasure. Okay. So at home, when I play this game, this next section is really loud for some reason. So hopefully it's not like that and I don't like destroy the venue's speakers with this game, but it, I think it only happens with my PC for some reason. Anyone else I've asked, it's like, uh, no, the audio doesn't go crazy, but let's see. It'll be interesting. Okay. So 
Got more sick mashing tech coming up here once again. Only the best tech. Let's see how loud this is. Sure, it's the hot soup, by the way. Super, super, no, that's okay. Some good hot soup. All right. Yeah, that was fine. No, <laughs> it's just my PC that's insanely loud. At that, it just blows my ears out every time. All right. So now we have hot switch. Hot switch is like the um, sort of late game mechanic they introduce, I guess. It's like um, pretty much if you press E on an enemy. Super. You can just like teleport into them, and um, it pretty much acts as a quick way to kill somebody without either Guma stomping them or punching them three times. It, and it covers a lot of distance as well. Um, you can just hot switch somebody from across the map like this. And, um, it's oh, I need that gun. It's just really useful sometimes. It's also very safe. It's like slower than a lot of stuff, but it is a pretty safe thing to do. Okay, office is probably the hardest level in the game. It's not too bad if I get decent guys, which I'm not right now. Yeah, okay, let's just try that again. Also, if my aim was just slightly better. This guy, and then hot switch into him. Hopefully get this gun. Okay. Should be good now. Okay. Super. That was the level I was worried about most, to be honest. Just like the way enemies can behave on that level is pretty, pretty okay hand. Okay. So a tiny bit more dialogue stuff. And we're just being like abused by this game right now. I need more details, please. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> Appreciate it, game. Okay. Thank you. Right, so I'm gonna try to snipe a guy with a phone here. It's a pretty. It's not too bad. Okay, miss. Let's try that again. Uh, right there. Okay, nice. Got him. So <laughs> it's uh when we do that, we can pretty much um pick the guy's gun up from the air when we hot switch into him because usually when you hot switch into somebody um, their gun just like gets destroyed so. oh he's not dead sick uh, no <laughs> no way <laughs> wall hacks get the snipe again okay sick <laughs> hopefully I can show off the uh, parkour please die okay Yes, and okay, now we're good. We did it. <laughs> Alright. Ah, yes, more mashing. I thought we escaped that, but no, apparently not. And alright, this level is pretty epic because. Okay, <laughs> that's not. Ooh, can I? Okay, there we go. Okay, I got the double kill, so that's the the big worry of this. You want to try get a double kill with the double barrel at the start of that level. Um, but obviously, with random spread being a factor, um, it's like sometimes you just you don't kill one enemy, or sometimes you just don't kill both of them. It's pretty that's pretty good when that happens. But I got the two of them there, luckily. Gonna go for another Goomba Stomp here. This one's actually pretty hard because the way this guy can run is kind of in an awkward position. Okay, got it. So that's nice because we. Okay, never mind. I was gonna say we save a bullet, but we just missed that guy, so. It's fine. Hopefully, this, this guy will kill his friend, yes. And there we go. So we're coming up on the end here, actually. There's like two real levels left, I think. And um, the last level has actually had an out of bounds thing, which is pretty cool. It's like the only sort of glitch, I guess, in the game. If you don't count the skips, of course. But okay. All right, sick. Uh, 
Yes, there we go. Super. Chef, I think you need your help. I, I need your help with this. If you could just come up for a second. Can you just like press spacebar a few times? Just time it. No, time it. Okay. Yeah, now. Uh, yes, there you go. We got it. So we have to just do B hops down this uh, down this hallway. This is fast. And uh, yeah, there you go. You got it. Yeah. Uh, uh, now there we go. You got it. You got it. Oh, sick night. Oh yes. Oh, you're, you're getting it. There we go. Nearly there. Yeah, nearly. Oh, yeah. Yes, well done, well done. <laughs> get, a, get a round of applause for Chef, guys. Well done, Chef. <laughs> I maybe should have told you about that before, <laughs> before the run. <laughs> okay, so we're on to the last level now. Um. Yeah, basically we just want to get out of bounds straight away. Actually, the first phase of this, we can just like run against the wall and the enemies pretty much won't care about us. Um, like over here, we can outrun the enemies pretty easily and run against the wall. Basically, we just have to wait out a timer and then hot switch into the core. More mashing as well. Surprise, surprise, more mashing. All right, so now we want to try get out of bounds here. Okay, sick. It's pretty spooky because everyone's like shooting at you. And that last jump was actually kind of tricky. So we're just gonna rub against this wall and make time pass as fast as we can and run down the timer. There we go. So we have to do this one more time. Okay, this one's a bit trickier. Get this guy with the wrench. Nice. That was the spooky bit. Now we just have to get out of bounds again. No, no, no. <laughs> this is bad. Uh, yes, there we go. Oh no. <laughs> Can I... I'm not sure, yeah, okay. <laughs> once you fall down once, it's like pretty difficult to get back up. This jump, okay, right. <laughs> Take it a bit slow so we can actually do it. <laughs> and maybe done. Okay. So we have to just like beam into all the enemies here. We can get this in one cycle, hopefully. Because you get like beamed back up to the core if you. Wait too long. Kill one of these enemies, I think. Yeah, I messed it up. Okay, not too bad. Two's, two's okay. Everybody, please avert your eyes from the estimate, which has now been absolutely destroyed. Um. Oh, has the denial mode thing uh, been met now? By the way. No, it has unfortunately not it hasn't. been met. Okay, okay. That's fine. No, there's just a funny like glitch you can do. Um, I can kind of. I can explain it when I get to the end bit here. Essentially, we have to uh, shoot ourselves in the back of the head at the end of this game. Very nice. But um, if you try to shoot anywhere else but the back of your head, then the game says no. It does not want you to do that. But you can like freak the game out with some text. It's pretty good. But you didn't donate, so uh, thanks, guys. <laughs> You're not going to see it now. No, it's fine. It's not, a, it's not a massive thing. It's just kind of a little funny thing to show at the end. So nearly done here. Time's coming up in just a sec, in like 10 seconds. If the dialogue would go away. Uh, time. If I can press the button, there we go. <laughs> yeah, not, not underestimate, unfortunately, but I mean, um, as I said, shout out to Ellie again, who was supposed to be here for the race, but Ellie, if you were here, you would have won that race, so, I mean, hmm, you know, you missed out. Anyway, yeah, thanks for thanks for having me again, shout out to Ellie once again, amazing runner. Um, I'm glad I could hopefully do this game justice on my own, but that's pretty much all I have to say. Thanks for watching, guys.